welcome back my beautiful angels this is kind of a redo i started to do this reading for you during uh the weekend and then had some storage issues i like i said i think i finally nipped it in the bud but it is a process so that's why i need your energy i need your love i need you to show your appreciation i have so many subscribers on this channel i don't know where you are i know a lot of you don't know that i'm here because of the youtube algorithm but for those of you that do your sharing, liking, supporting, and continuing to subscribe to the channel is very important. Energetically, it helps me, and energetically, through the YouTube algorithm, it helps these videos to get pushed up there with the more bigger channels because the messages that I have are just as important, and I'm blessed that there are a few of you who really do resonate with the messages or that you know the talents and gifts that I have and that you try your best to stay tuned to the messages so thank you in advance cause a blessing pray for you know there's a lot going on in the world there's a lot always going on in each of our lives and also collectively as the sign of sagittarius so this is this particular reading that i like to do every month to enhance our protection to enhance our connection with universe with our angels and saints and our guardians especially against toxic energy against people's evil thoughts or deeds we know words can be dangerous they can have a you know a, a, a after effect right so we have to take these things all um, into consideration and we can't spend all our time being on the defensive sometimes we have to work from the position of the offensive as well so this is a reading again where we're going to tap into the energies and just ask the universe as it will or as it may show us what it is that we need to be on our guard about what we should be aware of that might be working against us along our journey or path those who pretend that they're our friends and that they're not and again just remind us of how important it is to have everything in place to have our third eye open and not to be gullible to think that everyone is our friend and that everyone wishes the best for us okay take what you will from this reading it may or may not pertain to you at this time but remember time is fluid so this can always be talking about past present or even future energies thank you heavenly father for protecting my space and my energies my thoughts and deeds thank you for protecting those and guiding those who come to the channel for these messages what is it that sagittarius should be aware of or need to kind of step up their protection in against this month of October or as we you know as we finish out the year please show us in these cards first we're going to tap into the tarot and then we'll finish up with the specific decks okay okay overall you know, <clears throat> there's a lot of people along your journey. And if you live long enough, God willing, there's going to be times in your life when you will have the physical or spiritual opportunity to revisit or have someone revisit an episode or occurrence in your life. Sometimes it's one that you would like to <laughs> keep far out of your memory or you don't want to be revisited at or by but these situations come up and it comes up very often for Sagittarius where people realize the magnitude of the loss that they are suffering without us in their lives they realize much later in life as they live life and they go through relationships and they grow in wisdom hopefully the disadvantage and how ungrateful they were to the friendship or in a romantic sense, the partnership and the kinship that they had with Sagittarius. I'm quite sure each of us could list in below in the comments at least five to ten relationships, romantic and not, where people have come back into our lives months or years later unexpectedly to us. But it, then again, it happens so often we kind of do expect it. I think sometimes we're just surprised at what particular person comes back to humble themselves in front of us. But nonetheless, more than not for Sagittarius, people do realize down the road, the impact of the loss, the fact that they want to now say their apologies, they now seek forgiveness. 
and they want to be understood and they want to have closure for themselves, which is odd because many of them, when they leave us or we have disagreements, they don't honor giving us closure. So it's funny how the, the tide t changes, how it turns and how karma works its way in our lives and those who have hurt us in the past. But nonetheless, here they are in the Six of Cups coming now to pour their emotion, to want you to be humble and to give them grace. Everything that they didn't give you, they now want us Sagittarius to give them. They want a slice of that peace pie. They want to come back into our life. They want to be part of the fold. They want to receive our positive energy and our love and the commitment. Everything that they once had in the palm of their hands that they threw away or laughed at and, and disregarded, now, now they want it back. Now, for some of them, they need it back. So don't be surprised this month. And as time kind of fizzles out in this year, that you might have one or more people coming back into your life trying to make amends. They might not come offering a cup per se, spilling out their emotions. They might come to you with a bouquet of flowers, a very sentimental text, show up your, at your doorstep with a broken and remiss heart. But nonetheless, they're going to show up in some type of form wanting to, again, be forgiven and to make amends with you. But for many of us, as we grow in wisdom as well, and we learn from these past relationships and the difficulties and challenges of what those disappointments and heartbreaks and abandonment in those relationships did to us, our thought is, hmm, do you know how much work I had to do to heal myself? Do you realize what you put me through? Do you know how long it took me or how much, you know, therapy and what I had to do to regain my financial standing or just to get back to my pillar in my community or to get back on my spiritual path because of what you did to me or how you hurt me or how you betrayed me? They don't know that, but we do. And when they come back to us wanting to be apologetic, to be friends, possibly even to be lovers, believe it or not, we look at them and then we look inside our heart and then we kind of have a memory, right? We get like this video, this movie screen in our forehead, in our inner third eye, within our chakras, within our soul, just vividly just playing through everything that happened and what they caused us and how much that hurt felt. We're not going to stay in that energy, but we're going to remember it at that time when they come forth. The humble thing to do would be to acknowledge that they're sorry, to acknowledge that they now want to give us closure. But for some of us, that might be difficult because as you know, with the average Sag, we forgive, but we never forget. And not only that, it's probably so much time has transpired that we've put these relationships or these particular people behind us and we've done the extensive healing. We've done the extensive work. It's not something that we really feel at this time that we need to do, but the justice card shows up in connection to the hard work and healing that we've done to say, we know, Saggy, you don't want this person in your life and you probably don't need this person in your life. But here, the universe is giving you closure through their words, through them stepping up, trying to come to you with their humble pie now. Here is your closure or here's the justice. Here's the karma that you see. We know you don't want to do anything with it, but we just want to show you the possibility of how someone can hurt you so bad and then not care at that moment, but years later, feel the impact and suffer from the impact from what they've done to you. And that is karma. That is justice. That is what most of us want to receive. And that's what most of us need to receive 
to learn to avoid these type of relationships and to keep those doors closed from these type of relationships and those particular people. As you can see, whatever feelings we had for this person has long been gone. Since we did the work, since we did the healing, we didn't wait for karma to happen. We didn't wait for justice to work for us. We took it upon ourselves to heal ourselves and to go on with our life and move forth. Taking whatever feelings we had with us, the positive ones, but leaving the negative ones behind. So when they come now, months and years later, trying to make things A-OK -okay with us, it's like it doesn't, it phases us, but it really doesn't because that's such a closed chapter. In the middle of the deck with the chariot, again, a confirmation. Why? Because we've, we've moved on. You're so far out of our energetic field that it doesn't matter. It's just like the closure that they're offering us, the signs of forgiveness, them wanting to be our friends or to come back in our circle, is neither here nor there to us. It's just kind of coming full circle and completing the karmic cycle. But as far as us, we've been done long time ago. So now, starting off with that energy, let's see how that proceeds into the things that we need to be aware of protecting ourselves today. Now, I don't know what the cards are going to pull and show. It could be that we do need to protect ourselves from these particular people who are now coming forth, wanting to be our friends again, wanting to, you know, again, put closure to past things. Or this could come out, it's all new people in our life that we need to be protected by. But I do find it very interesting that we get the messages and the energy that currently there are people who want to connect with us because they're hurting or they realize now and they've come to accept their wrongdoing to letting us go or hurting us in the past. They don't know how to communicate in a healthy way. That could be the reason why they're coming to us now, seeking forgiveness, wanting to communicate and talk. When you were breaking up or you were terminating your agreement or partnership with each other it was just too hostile or they just were just being so mean and in such a rush to get away from you sad and to hurt you they didn't want to communicate they didn't feel they needed to now they want to communicate because they feel that they can but they still don't know how to go about it because they know saggy they know how we close people off and we don't open those doors we're very I don't want to say, no, I don't want to say that. I just want to say we're very precise and we are very determined that when we release people in a relationship or any connection to them as a friend, a partner, a lover, we want nothing to do with you anymore. That is it. We want nothing to do with you anymore. We move away from you. You no longer energetically exist in our lives. And we don't look back. So most people realize once they have burnt the bridge with Sagittarius, they might as well just keep it moving because we're not going to accept you back. We might listen to you. We'll give you a few minutes again to do your little humble pie and your sorry and all that, but we're not really going to entertain it. It's more for you, I guess for you to feel better because we've already done the healing a long time ago. We've already moved away from this. And next is hella jealous of you because you're doing better than ever. Well, what is a more opportune time to want to come to Saji in their life when you know they're doing great and you're doing terrible? So this is why you have to be careful when all of a sudden your exes or whoever it is wants to be apologetic, wants to be your best boo or your best friend now, your BFF, because they see you're moving up in life, whether you're moving up financially, spiritually, or just overall as a person, they see you doing good. 
And maybe they're in a bad spot. Maybe they're the one that's being abandoned now. They have nowhere to go. Oh, Saggy. They love everybody. They're kind. They're loving. They see the best in people. They'll forgive me. Look how well he or she is doing. And they're jealous. Why? Because they're not part of the success that you're in. Do you know how it sucks to be them when you were with them? And let's say you were just starting out your business or just starting your grind or whatever it was that you were just starting to put together. But they didn't ride with you. They weren't patient with you. And then they moved on to someone else who they felt might have had the bigger bag or the bigger car or the better lifestyle already in place for them. And that didn't work out. And now they want to come after you've done all this hard work and healing and have elevated, been blessed with what truly you have desired and manifested in life. And they want to take part in it. Why? Why should they? They didn't contribute to our success. They wasn't there helping us fulfill our dreams. They weren't there cheering us on or comforting us or just being an honest, sincere friend or lover, being in our corner and believing in us. So what makes them think that it's okay for them now to come after we've done all this work and now they want to come and reap from part of our success? It doesn't work like that. But this is what they do, Sagittarius. The haters, they have their friends, they have other people. Maybe saying side little slick stuff to you on the internet. So you might have a lot of people saying things to you, making up fraudulent claims or making up ghost accounts. But it's stuff that they're saying, but the energy is coming from that person. Your God-given abilities irritate them. Didn't they know that we had these abilities when they were with us? Oh, that's right. They were too busy chasing after this one and that one and trying to get with everybody else or not being with us and really understanding and appreciating who we were. Now they realize how great our God is and we get through the toughest cycles. Yeah, we go through a lot, but we come out on top. Return to sender. Whatever they try to do to you or whatever some of them might be coming back now, falsely claiming that they want to rekindle with you or reconnect, they're only doing that because they have a need. Don't get it twisted and don't get fooled to think that all of a sudden now they love you and they have compassion. No, they're coming back because they got dumped by someone else or they don't have anywhere else to go. They have no opportunities. Nothing is going on good for them in their life. So they come to you with this false pretense that they want to reconnect. They've changed. Don't fall for it, Sagittarius. And anything that they try to send your way or bring to you, send it right back to them because it is not with the best intentions. They are blocked by holding on to grudges. They are blocked. That's almost like what I just said. There's nothing going on for them. Whatever they try to do to have success in their life or to bring love and romance into their life or partnership, it is not working for them. It might start out in the beginning like it's going to, but it backfires. And it's not so much about the people that they connect with. It's more about them, who they are as a person and the work that they need to do on themselves. The bondage deck we get they envy your skills and talents. This person, when they were with you or when they were friends with you, if, if it's not a romantic partner, always felt the way about you. They gave you the side eye without you knowing that they were giving you the side eye. Or maybe if you think back on the conversations and when you went to places together and you engaged with other people in their presence, that they would always have something slick to say. Or they will contradict if someone gave you a compliment. They would say a little smart something to disagree. The hate was there, but you probably didn't receive it. Or you just didn't acknowledge it. Because again, Sagittarius, we're so focused on the bigger and positive things in life. We don't have time to deal with the haters. It's, it, they're so small on our totem pole of, of importance. So it might have just slipped by you. But they envied you even back then. 
and now if you wasn't great then and you were just getting on your grind and now all these years or months that you've been apart now you really have became famous or you have a great business going you live a nice life you've really accomplished so much more than they even thought that you were capable of yeah, if they were envious then and you didn't really have it then, you were just starting to imagine the buildup now of them sitting behind a computer or sitting wherever they sit, stalking you and trying to see what's going on in your life, finding out that you're really living the dream, that the things that you desired, the things that you said you were going to do have now actually manifested. So, you know, from 1 to 10, they're now at a, a 12 on the level of their jealousy of your skills and talents like they can't put one in one to make it two to figure out how you did it even with the breakup and the challenges that you had in your life and the roadblocks them and other people have put in your life that you were still able to get on your grind and to be successful that is tearing them apart some things that you need to do you need to practice to return to sender we just had that again. So be very mindful in your prayers and in your actions when you feel a negative aura around you. If you actually know you're in disagreement with someone and someone is just, you know, trying to get at you because they're jealous or envious or because they're trying to get at you, but you won't let them. Just pray and send everything back to them. Whatever they're trying to send to you to hurt you, to disappoint you to destroy you, to set you back, just reverse it all back to them. Don't don't wish them any harm, nothing bad. Just say, listen, whatever is not meant for me that this person is trying to send to me, send back to sender. Getting some Palo Santo or burning some can clear out any negative energies that you might feel or sense around you. It can bring some calm and energy, not into also into your home and if this person has been in your home or around your home okay or if they sent you a gift and you're crazy enough to bring it in your home again that might be attached with some energies you don't know what they've done with this thing right what they've casted on this gift that they've given you so be very careful what you bring into your home and People's energies, when they come in your home and you know there's some type of rift or disconnect with you and this person, sage, protect, and pray. Pray and protect at all times. Black obsidian is a great crystal for you to keep in your home and to keep on you. It carries calming, positive energy, and it reminds you to look on the bright side and to know that you will always be on the winning end, Sagittarius, because of your goodness, because of your kindness. Because you're humble. Causing your car problems, flat tires, engine shut down. Watch who you have in your car. Watch who you park your car. Who you give access to your car to. If you do videos and you put your home on the internet. Block out your license plate number. Try not to show and talk about the type of car you ride or where you're going a lot of people gather information from the internet so the, the least information you put the least information they'll have okay so this could be like some of you could come out of an event and someone you notice your, your tires popped or someone's keyed your car jealous people do that type of bad behavior so just safeguard your car if you have a garage keep it in the garage or change your parking spots. Don't park in the same spot all the time. Um, if your car is so important to you, like you use it for work or you use it for your business or you collect cars and you have real high-end cars, this person might know that and they know they it's going to hurt you if there's something done to your car. As we come to a close, they're hating on your spiritual gifts. So there's a lot of things that really riles them. One that you're manifesting and you're in a place in life that they'll never be able to get to because they don't have the gumption. They don't know have the know-how or the commitment. But it's your spirituality that most of them just don't get and don't understand. So they're jealous of those gifts. So you will find them going to strangers or people who they think also have gifts, but 
to use them in a negative sense. Whereas with Sagittarius, we're positive. We use our gifts for positivity, to bring people together, to help people, to heal people. And that is the difference. We end with causing drama and fights in your love connections and friendships. They might try to team up people, like I said, other people who also don't get along with you or just anyone else that's going to hear their drama story and wants drama themselves to, to go against you. Or they might just go to people that they know loves you, people who you are connected with to try to turn them against you just to hurt you. Anything to hurt you, to disappoint you, or in some cases, it's like they're trying to really sway you. They want you to buckle down and give in to reconnect with them. So they, in their mind, they're thinking, well, if I do this, if I do that, eventually Saggy's going to have to give in and be my friend again. Or eventually they're going to have to call me and stop ghosting me. So again, their thinking is so far-fetched and so backwards that they think all the negativity and toxicity that they throw your way is going to work in a positive way towards them. And it's not. That's why you have to continuously pray and send everything that they say and do back to them to give you some peace while you manifest and protect yourself from these type of people and those people trying to falsely come back into your life let's go to my tigra sacred self-protection the dawn will soon rise when you're hidden in the dark situations until then sagittarius stay away from bad energy and be alert and focused Listen to people's words, but mind their actions more. So in a lot of cases, there could be more going on behind the scenes. There's more that they're trying to stir up than you can think of. So always try to be one step ahead. And I know sometimes that's difficult. But remain focused and be alert. And don't underestimate what this person might or might not do. Listen to what they say. Don't necessarily drive yourself crazy, but pay attention to what they say. More importantly, what they actually are willing to do to get your attention. We close with the final two cards. Going to church is nice, but sometimes you may not be able to during these situations. But you shouldn't let that stop you from practicing your faith and your beliefs at home. Pray and give thanks even as you walk. Pray for protection. Pray to have solitude and peace in your life and to keep the toxic people away. If you're into oils and you want me to suggest some oils, or you can go on the internet or metaphysical stores. There's a lot of stores online now that you can shop with. Get oils for protection. Get oils for spirituality. Get oils to repel negative energy. You can use them on you. You can use them in your bath. Just as well as saying your prayers and lighting a candle. But if you want particular ones, again, let me know. In our reading this week, I think it was the monthly reading or the weekly reading, it also came up in this deck that if you wanted particular spiritual verses to say, to keep your energy positive and protect you from toxicity, there's many different verses in Proverbs in Psalms that you can use to help you navigate spiritually through challenging situations. If you can't find them or you want some, I can suggest to you um, some that are really great to use. So I hope this has been an eye opener or more or less a reminder and a comforter to you that yes, people do miss you. Yes, people need to admit and are trying to admit that they've hurt you and they were wrong but they're trying to get back into your life for the wrong reason yes there might be a handful just a handful that actually want to get back into your life because they've changed and they actually want to be good to you but the majority they just want to be in your life to further hurt you or because they're so extremely jealous because they now see what you have going on compared to what they don't have going on. So always Sagittarius, don't get so comfortable 
with your celebration of the great things that you're doing, the experiencing in life, that you forget there are people who are not in your corner and there's people who's always trying daily to knock you off your platform or to knock you off your pedestal. Don't get too comfortable to think that you don't have people who don't like you. And always, always stay prayed up and stay protected in whichever way, physically, mentally, and importantly, spiritually, that you need to. May this reading be a blessing to you, not only now, in the month of October, but throughout your lifetime, as a reminder, the balance and the duality of life and the energies and the relationships that we foster with people, how they end badly and how some of them continue throughout our lifetime to just be a sour puss, so to speak, in our life. We don't have to entertain it, but you must be aware of it so you know how to move and handle yourself and more importantly, protect yourself against this person and whatever negative energies or thoughts they're trying to send your way. Don't be fooled, Sagittarius. Be smart. Namaste.